I'm Christopher Amoruso. I'm a photographer. After photographing hundreds of celebrities, I have become the top dog in the photography world of Stars and Their Pets. Oh, good girl. Okay, on three, one, two, three. The fun thing about this shoot today, Shawnee Smith, Missy Pyle have a country singing group. 100,000 hand grenades. Boom. Down, down. You're a really great dancer, but I wish you had cancer. Or maybe mouth and genital herpes is the answer. How much better off the world would be if you had hepatitis C. And I thought it'd be fun to kind of incorporate this into this photo shoot today. Uh -huh. Holy sh! <laughs> Are you <laughs> kidding look, me? Look, look. That is fantastic! Holy sh! Wow. Rocks. Not bad, Chris. Always up in LA, shooting a lot of homes and a lot of backyards and inside people's homes. Coming out here to Joshua Tree is really different for me, and it's exciting, and it's also very trying. It was a great shoot, two beautiful, amazing actresses, and I'm thrilled. And a great dog with a cast that really worked out perfect. I have two beautiful <laughs> women, amazing actresses. We have an incredible dog here who has so much personality with this. Three beautiful women, hello. Three beautiful mm -hmm. women. And this is Elle. This is actually Missy's dog. So give me a little bit of information or give me a little insight on Ellie, on Ellie where she came from. I went to the pound with my boyfriend at the time, like 10 minutes before closing, to get him a dog. Oh no. <laughs> but I secretly wanted another dog, because I have another dog, and I felt he was lonely. And I saw her, and then there was like, the pound's closing in five minutes. And the guy was like, well, I don't know where she's going to be tomorrow. I mean, she's up to be put to sleep. And I was like, OK, I'll take her. And so um, I left with her. And Aww. she was so excited all the time. And uh, the reason she's got this cast is that I live near the Hollywood sign, and she went hiking. And she just would jump and do, do whatever she wanted. And uh, she went up the side of a hill, and then came down the mountain towards us and so she dropped about 30 feet and um, you know I uh, had to get <laughs> lost all the uh, ligaments here so she had to have her bones fused together so she's like the 10 million dollar dog <laughs> I originally uh, did a photo session with you years ago mm -hmm. with your Dalmatian JJ, JJ and yes. there was another dog also which I don't remember the other dog's Saskia. name Saskia okay, Saskia that she was one. my baby I got when oh. I was in high school oh. I mean college Saskia was my baby I got in college so tell me about JJ because JJ was up here where you said JJ is a little bit wound up. So. JJ is a pain in the ass. JJ is really. an 80 pound Dalmatian and he's like Dalmatians run from 35 to 55 pounds. He's 125 he's, pounds he's very big. at least. He just, you know, he, I think the music is a little hard for him and he needs to be the center of attention. So like we would start recording and he'd be like, oh, God, oh, it's so oh, oh, and I'd be like, we're in the middle of a great take. So JJ just, just wants to sing. Me. He just wants to, he wants to be a singing. But how great he would that be for the Dirty Bird right album too. later? <laughs> how great would that be for the Dirty Bird album though? I mean, you can, the dirty do, dog. you can do the Dirty Dog. The Dirty version. Dog. That's the Dirty Dog. I mean, look, I'm a dirty. We'll guy. partner up with you for JJ's the Dirty Dog record. JJ's too clean to be a Dirty Bird. I mean, he's a very attractive dog. Shawnee, you were a, you 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 had um, big dogs. You were a fan of the big dogs. Um, well, the love of my life until my daughter came along was. Rohita, my pit bull, that uh, Robert Carradine gave me for my 18th birthday. And she uh, passed wow. away right before my daughter's first birthday, very suddenly. Uh, she was almost 13, but um, I still grieve her as so much to have her ashes. I wanted to like tattoo the ashes into me, so like I just loved her that much, you know? Yeah. What have you guys learned from having these animals in your life? I have learned there is nothing like the unconditional love of your dog. It's awesome. <laughs> that is my quote from the first photo shoot I did of him, and she has given me so much about it because it, she's like, that's your quote, that's all you could come up with. And I want you to know right now, I want you guys to know, the unconditional love of an animal <laughs> is awesome, okay? It's just how oh, happy they are all the time is uh, very inspiring. They're very is present okay? beings. They're, yeah, they're totally... Yeah. Like when Ellie was sitting up here uh, next to you earlier in the photo session, I was looking at her and I just kind of... She's just like, she's just... 
there. I mean, you're like, there's cameras and you're nervous right. and you're like trying to look sexy and you're, you're aware of yourself and I look a little fat and it's, am I too old? Am I doing that one frown line that I don't want to do because then it makes people think I'm an old or whatever. And Ellie's just kind of like, and then you bring out some chicken and she's like, ah, chicken, chicken. I love chicken. Oh my God, chicken, chicken, chicken. You guys are both doing so incredible and now you're working on an album together which yeah. is really fun. So, so how did that whole thing start with you guys? So so tell me that I was going to band. Coachella. Mm -hmm. A friend invited me and I decided spur of the moments, first spur of the moment thing I did since I had my second child 20 months ago. And I thought, well, I'll ask Missy if she wants to go because then we could talk in the car. And I called her and she said, are you inviting me to Coachella? I can't <laughs> believe it. Yes, I'm going. And we were stuck in traffic. Mm -hmm. Thank God, or this ban would never have happened because the conversation happened about her life's dream was to. Um, I want to be in a band. Be a rock star, so. Who doesn't want to be a rock after star? After she went on and on and on, I finally said, all right, I'll be in a band with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you both have incredible careers. I mean, you, to start, have worked with my hero. And I'm sure he's one of yours, Tim Burton. I mean, we were originally going to call the band the Tim Burtons. The Tim Burtons. I was so I mean, I'm crazy mm. about Tim Burton. Or the Tim Burton. And then she wanted to be the Timbertons. Timbertons, right? <laughs> the Timbertons. And then Shawnee, you've been going for, a, I mean, your last long run on Becker, right? And now with the Becker. Saw movies, which Saw is just like the horror <laughs> circuit with. <laughs> Ta -da! Did you expect that to happen though with those films? I mean, no. Look at, I mean, they're I huge. mean, come on. I turned the first one down just because it was so, the script was so upsetting. And uh, I'm sure glad I changed my mind. <laughs> See, uh, the double wide bouncy. You in your sleep. <laughs> then the next day for you I weep. Cry a river of tears. I didn't even know you a whole year. But I shot your ass down anyway. <laughs> yeah, really. Anyone can make an album, obviously. <laughs>